good morning. Mark here with Road Notes. This is just a real quick video. Just to report something that doesn't really happen every day. And we're currently at Thousand Trails of Orlando in beautiful central Florida. Weather is beautiful. And normally we don't have any problems here. However, this time as of yesterday, 5 p.m., the entire section that we're staying in, plus the entire D section, which amounts to about, well, probably between at least 200 and 250 campsites in this campground, have lost power. So we haven't had electricity since five o'clock yesterday it is now 7 30 in the morning the next day and we are still without power so it creates a lot of problems for a lot of people that have travel trailers fifth wheels that don't have a generator obviously it always also creates a little bit of an issue even for folks like us that have class A's, class C's, class B's, or any, any RV that has a generator because now you have to run your generator. Luckily, the weather is, it is beautiful. It is between 70 and 80 degrees, but not super hot. And we have a nice, comfortable breeze, but it is still um, a little bit concerning that power is out for so long. Um, at Thousand Trails Orlando, the, the power company is Seco, and we went on their website yesterday when the power went out, and they did show power outage, and they estimated it to be out for about three hours. Well, we are going on 12, 14, almost 15 hours now without power. So, yes, we can't blame the campground, perhaps. But Seiko, come on, buddies. You got to get this show on the road and give us folks here power again. So, fingers crossed that sometime during the day, we will have power. Let us know in the comments below, have you ever experienced a power outage at your campground? for 10 plus hours and did you have a generator how was the weather like you know how did you guys cope with it and let us know so the other uh, pretty concerning part is that last night after the power went out, I went out to the park outside of the campground and we saw the power trucks and the power company out here working on what seemed to be one of the transformers. And I'm leaving the campground now this morning at 7.30 and there is absolutely nobody in sight working on fixing this issue. There are no Seco trucks, no power trucks, nothing on the campground, as far as I can see, and nothing outside of the campground working on the issue of resolving the power issue. That's a bit concerning. So we can only hope that Thousand Trails is on top of it. Yeah, so, man. Welcome to Florida, I guess, as I'm driving around this campground and you know, you see a bunch of doors are open, uh, generators are running. You know, it reminds us, if you're familiar with Florida, it reminds us uh, like after a hurricane when you hear a bunch of generators running. But this has nothing to do with a hurricane. This has everything to do with just simply having no power and Simply nobody's working on the issue, at least it appears this way because there are absolutely no workers, no trucks inside trying to fix this problem. And 
you know, we are at a campground. We're not boondocking, so we do expect to have power. Things can happen, of course. You can have a power outage, but this just seems to be a little bit extreme in terms of the length and in terms of nobody appears to be working on it. So I'm going to make my way up to the front gate and to the ranger station. I'm going to see if they have any updates on what is going on. Okay, so I haven't been up to the ranger station yet, but we just went on to, well, not Seacoast, the power company's website. Uh, well, we did go to their website to get their phone number, and we gave them a call. And here's what they told us. So Seco, the power company that came out last night to look at the... Uh, big power pole I assume that's where the uh, transformer was that maybe initially we thought was the problem with said that it is a bad cable and that it is on the campground side and it is therefore the campgrounds responsibility to get it fixed hmm so that poses a whole nother issue because at least the power company would have been equipped to fix the problem. Now it's up to the campground, Thousand Trails of Orlando, to fix the problem? Oh my God. So who are they gonna call? And what are they gonna do about it? And where's the bad cable? I mean, are we gonna be out for days on end here without power? I'm still gonna go up to the ranger station and I'm gonna see what ranger guy says if he has any information well that's camping I guess you got to take it with a grain of salt a little bit of fun spirits are still high mood still good but man I hope it doesn't get too hot today so yeah and what else will be interesting to see how is Thousand Trails gonna manage this now because it is Sunday it is a heavy moving day People are leaving today, people are coming today, people are expecting to stay at the new site, which currently has no power. And what are they gonna do with these other 160 plus sites that are there that have no power for God knows how long now, because, you know, let's face it, if you leave it up to the campground to fix a major power source issue, that's not gonna get resolved in, in a few hours. So people are going to be complaining. People are going to expect to move to other sites. So they're going to be um, taking people out of the new site, putting them in the other sites where um, there is power. And then what is going to happen to all the folks that are coming in today? Um, it is a, I mean, it is Sunday, typically a busy moving day. People are moving out. People are coming in. So what are they going to do with all those folks? And the campground is completely booked. And we're talking like thousand plus campsites at this campground and it's booked people are coming in and we're talking probably i'm only guessing here between these two sections 250 300 campsites without power but that's 300 people that are going to be unhappy and with no end in sight hmm what to do all right, let's see if we can uh, find out anything. Good morning. Good morning. What's the status on the power? I have no idea. All, all I know is they're working on it. We, we called Seco earlier and they said it's the campground's responsibility. Is that right? Uh, that's what I heard. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, management, did they reach out to anybody, to you guys, to let you know what's going on? Oh, yeah, they sent a text out last night. Yeah. We don't know for how long, though. I mean, it could be days. I have no idea. Yeah. How many sites are affected by this? Do you know? All the new section, yeah. part of E over here, and half a D, as far as I know. That's several hundred, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Jeez. And then you got all this coming in, coming out today. Oh yeah, I hope that people will be able to get their slides slides in because we got 80 some people coming in today. Not yeah. looking forward to it. 
No, I don't. I don't blame you. And not having any clue really what's timeline wise and makes it difficult. Hopefully, people will leave and have enough battery power to get their slides in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But they expect somebody to come out here today to kind of work on it. Or? I, you don't know anything about I anything. Know, yeah, I, <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm, I'm as about as clueless as you are, sir. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate All it. All I know is they're aware of it and they're working on it. So. All right, sir. Thank Other you. That, I don't know anything. You got it. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay, so we don't know anything. And. Nobody knows anything other than the management of Thousand Trails Orlando sending out a email letting their staff know that the power is out. They didn't inform anybody of what the plan is other than, other than to tell people mm, we're working on it. Well, that's great, but honestly, I don't see anybody working on it. Okay, so I guess we're just going to have to uh, continue on with our days best as we can without power and hope that it's not getting too hot. And yeah, like he said, there are so many other concerns about people that are leaving today. Can they get their slides in? Do they have enough power on their batteries to do this? Um, so there's a whole slew of questions that come up and concerns that come up that remain unanswered at this time. Okay. Well, it was just a short in-between video for us because it's something that doesn't happen every day. We wanted to uh, bring this video out and just keep you guys informed as to what's going on on the road with us here at Road Notes and that things do go wrong. I mean, not only with your rigs, but also with the campgrounds, as you can see. And the fun continues. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.